What's guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today we have a stash update video, my first one in 2024, and uh, we got some good stuff. Just had a swap meet yesterday, this Saturday. Uh, so I got some really good stuff, really good deals, but we'll show you that here in a little bit. Uh, we'll that stuff first, but let's first first go through some mega hobby stuff I got, uh, or or my hobby, my uh, local hobby shop stuff a bit. Uh, so, first things first, I've been hearing this kit came out. I've been wanting it for a while because this Tamaya just reissued it. It's the, the Toyota Soar. This is actually a really cool kit. Um, I'm not sure when it really issued. I think 1980s was with the original issue. It said it on here somewhere. Uh, I think 84. I think it was the original issue. But very cool. And it's a full engine, you know, chassis detailing kit. Obviously, it's not like super, super detailed, but it does come with an engine, of course, and very cool. So, uh, saw, I saw Tamayo was issuing it, I was like, yeah, I gotta get that. So, very cool, and, you know, it's a Toyota. Toyota, you can't go wrong with Toyotas, because we're a Toyota family. And just just a super cool Toyota from Tamayo. So, we got that one. I've been wanting it for a while, and I might have to get that, that uh, Lexus, uh, Yoshima, or Yoshima, the Tamayo just released the Lexus. Kind of similar car, but has an engine and stuff, so I'm gonna have to get that too to go along with that sword. So, but we'll see. Uh, next one I got, um, it was on sale. I figured I'd pick it up a Porsche 911 GT2. It's pretty cool. Tomorrow has two versions of this one of this kit they have this one, or they have the full on race car. It's pretty much the same kit. This kit, you know, it's supposed to be like a street car, but uh, you can, you can tell Tamaya didn't really go too crazy about it, but they didn't really take the time and give it a full interior. It's basically the same car as the race, racing one, it does have the wheel cage, they just give it different, different wheels, but um, it's not really a street vehicle, I mean it is, but it's, no, it's not like a full on street vehicle, but uh, there's a guy uh, that sent me a file on Instagram, uh, he he has made a, uh, a 3D file for a full interior. And that's like new door panels, rear seats, new nicer, you know, stock seats, the stock wheels. So I might have to get that. Uh, or he, uh, he did send it to me, so I might have to do that. And that's probably one of, that's one of the reasons why I got this kit because he sent me that file. And you know, because you know, it's supposed to be it's supposed to be a stock Porsche, not not the race, you know, weekend car. You know, Maya has two versions of this one. So he has the racing seats. So. But we're gonna be doing this as a stock one. Who knows? Maybe we'll do like a bigger wide body on this. I guess there are some wide body kits out there for this car. So we got that one just for a heck of it. Very cool. And the last big box we got was the I believe this is a Fujimi. Yeah, Fujimi. Fujimi Mini Cooper. Uh, this is the uh, John Cooper Works version, Mini Cooper S. This is actually a very cool car. Um, I, these Mini, Mini Coopers, they're, they're really neat little cars. I mean, all my Volkswagen, and they basically have a lot of Volkswagen parts, but they're really expensive, like, especially the newer ones. I mean, they're like 40, 50 grand for a car this size. It's crazy, but I guess they're kind of luxury. And, you know, I figured pick this one up because I heard really good, good reviews on this one. And, uh, yeah, so I figured, you know, let's Give it a try, give it a cool paint job. Maybe we'll put the uh, you know the German or yeah German flag, not German flag, but the flag on top that has you know these Mini Cooper staff. Who knows? But very cool, very cool kit. And yeah, and there's two versions of that kit: John Cooper S, which is a normal one, or the one I got is the John Cooper Works. It just has the wheels and the big exhaust and some other things here and there. All right, let's move on to the swap meet. I had a swap meet yesterday. Well, when this video is coming out, Saturday. Um, so I picked up some good kits, really good deals actually. Um, There's just no particular order. I went ahead and picked this one up, but this is a very cool model. Uh, it's a station wagon. I love station wagons. I don't know why. I mean, they don't make them anymore, obviously. I'm like, wow, wow, don't make them these days. But these station wagons are very cool. I'm not really sure what year this one is. It's probably 1990s, early, really early 2000s. But. Um, box is pretty, pretty destroyed. Um, he was only on for 20 bucks. I chipped him down to 15. He, he said, okay. So, I was like, yeah. <laughs> I mean, but it's all there. It's the only open box kit I got at the spot meet. And, you know, it's all there, obviously. It's sealed, except the chrome, you know, the chrome girl parts. They were put that parts in the boxes that days. But, very cool. Been wanting this kit for a while. Who knows, we'll probably put, we'll probably just slam it to the ground. 
Uh, wasn't double wheels on it, who knows, but very cool. So I got that one. Next one I got was, this is actually a very cool one. 55 Jackbox Ford. You know, I have, I have not built a Jackster like this in a long, long time. Actually, I don't think I've never bought a Jackster like this before. <laughs> I can't remember. But this one was there. I got this for 25? 25. Yeah, 25. Very cool. It's still sealed obsolete. And, you know, very neat. And I love Mustangs. And, yeah, I think doing a Dragster for once, I think it would be pretty cool. I see some guys on the community build these. And that well, shows as well. I think they're just amazing looking. You can really detail the living heck out of these cars. So I figured this is a good find. Um, I don't think we're about to make this one right now, but who knows? Maybe we'll, 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 we'll reissue it, but very cool. So I got that one. Next one I got, I built this one. I think this is my second or third model I've ever built on this channel. Um, the must, the 2013 Mustang Boss, the same box art, same everything. Um, I do have that model still, so I kind of want to uh, build this one. And compare a difference between this one, the way I build now, and the one, the one I built was it six, almost six years ago. So I kind of, I, I figured pick it up. It's only twenty bucks, and um, yeah, it's like, dude, I gotta get this because this is my at least second or third model I've ever built on this channel. The channel you're watching right now, so uh, very cool. So definitely one of my beginner builds, and I figured, you know what, let's get it and. I do have the model still, so let's. I want to build it and just kind of compare a difference between then and, and now, the way I build it now. Obviously, I might change up the wheels, lower it because the stock suspension on this kit is kind of, I believe it's pretty high up off the ground. You can't really see it, but we'll do some modifications to this. But yeah, we're going to do some crazy with it and compare to then and now. Uh, next one, I got this one. I heard some really good things about this. I believe this is a whole new tuning kit. It's a four door muscle car, basically, well, four door Chevy Impala uh, from the movie. I've never seen this movie before, but I believe they hunt ghosts and stuff. It's kind of like Ghostbusters, but not really. You just kind of like follow ghosts. Uh, well, there's a the movie right there. So, but it's a four door Impala. Obviously, they didn't make four door, well, they did, but they didn't make many four door Impalas. It's pretty rare, very rare car. People do say uh, this is a, you know, two doors too much. It's supposed, supposed to be a two door, but yeah, very cool. Very cool Impala, a four door, and it's a full detailed kit. Obviously, you do have your chassis right there, engine, interior, so it's a fully detailed kit. And like I said, I believe it is a full retooling re kit from AMT because obviously they never made a four door Impala, but very cool. So I figured I'd get that one. Uh, the next one, the Sim Seller. I got the I got the 60 Ford F100 pickup. I've been wanting this one for a while. Um, they haven't really issued this kit in a long, long time. I never, I never built it obviously because I've never, you know, <laughs> never been around. But this one comes with a trailer. It's a very cool. It's a it's a partially curbside. I, I saw, you know, the back axle mode in, but you do have a separate engine. But you know, part of the chassis mode in, which is not too too big a deal. But I kind of wish it was a full. Yeah, I wish I kind of wish it was a full on. Detailing kit because you can really detail the kit, this kit out. But yeah, it does come with an engine. But very cool. I figured pick it up. He was selling it for 32, I believe, for 31. So not too big, not not bad deal at all because it's how much you know. It's a modern kit. It just came out like a month ago, not even. So very cool. I figured pick that one up because it's kind of hard to find, especially with everybody buying them out. Speaking of hard to find, finally got my hands on a 1971 Dodge Demon. This, I heard really good things with this kids. People are just buying the living crap out of them. Everybody's like just so happy about two models we issued it. I never bought this kit before. I heard really good things. I was like, dude, I gotta get this kit. But every time I try to order one or my local hobby shop, my local hobby shop just sell them out like within a day. I was like, okay. <laughs> I'm just gonna, I gotta hold off. Cause I don't even need it right now. Cause I'm not gonna build it right now. But I saw this one at the swap meet. There's only one there and I was like, it was weird at the, at, the, at the entrance of the doorway. I went there and just snagged it real quick. <laughs> I was like, I'm, this is mine. Um, so, very cool. I got it for 32, I think. So, not too big a deal. I mean, it's a modern kit. But I don't care. I wanted to get one because I want to see what the hype is all about on this kit. So, we'll probably build it this year. Who knows? But 
who knows? Maybe this would just be a USAC build. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, this is very cool. So I'm glad I got my hands on that one. Oh wait. Um let's move on to this one. Yeah, this one. I forgot to mention this one. This is not from Swap Meets. This is from last year, uh, December. Uh, so we're taking a break from Swap Meets. I got the 49 Mercury sedan from AMT. The reason why I got this one, uh, I do have the Revolve one, uh, but the reason why I kind of got this because I want to do a second theme for NNL East, uh, which is next month, uh, which is Wild Customs, and a second theme, kind of theme, is 75th anniversary of the 49 Mercury. So, I kind of want to do 49 Mercury, I kind of, I want to do the Revell one, but I know the Revell, the Revell one is a very hard one to find, so I kind of want to save it as long as possible for a very, very special occasion for that one, but for this one, it's very well known, it's older, it's an older release, but they're still out there crazy, um, I got this one on eBay actually, so, um, but, I did get a Jimmy Flintstone body that is coming tomorrow, it's Monday, and this this is actually gonna be my next build. So stay tuned to the channel. Um, I am gonna be doing some changes. So uh, stay tuned. This is my this is well spoiler alert, my next build. Just so you know, my next build is. But this is definitely my next my next build because I want to do the second theme for NNL East. So very cool. Uh, yeah, I got this on eBay for eighteen bucks, I think, plus shipping. Came to like thirty, came to like thirty twenty three bucks, twenty four bucks. So not too big deal. And you know, nice kit. It was sealed if I open it, because I wanted to see what's inside of it. Alright, back to the swap meet. Just three more. They're just NASCARs. We got one more, or another one of these next-gen NASCARs. Yes, it is the, you know, walk-up livery, but I don't care. It's aftermarket. I got tons of aftermarket decals for these next-gen NASCARs. So, I don't care about the livery. That's getting tossed. But I couldn't pass up the price. 25 bucks. <laughs> these, these JR models, they're, they're like 50 bucks these days. They're like 40, 50 bucks these days. So 25 bucks sealed. Yeah, I could just, I just could not pass the up. I was like, dude, I'm getting that as you know, you definitely just if you come if you come across a JR model kit, especially just next to NASCAR for about under 30 bucks, just 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 snag it because they are expensive because JR models they're you know, they're a small company and they're trying to make money and you know their kits are pretty expensive. And, you know, fifty bucks it's quite it's quite up there. I, mean, I am gonna lie, not gonna lie, but if you can get one for under 30 bucks at any place, just just snag it. So, it's giving you a warning. Um, next one. Let me do this one first. Yeah, this bad boy. Um, so I, I have this decal sheet because I wanted to do this livery uh, because I did get two of them. But I figured, you know what? Let's get the actual kit that has this, you know, livery. Um, obviously the decals are probably not that good, but I do, like I said, I do have this decal sheet and a newer version in my, in my decal bin, so very cool. So, I figured pick it up, it was only 15 bucks. These D, these NASCARs are, you know, they're cheap. So 15 bucks, can't go wrong. I bought this, I bought this uh, Ford Fusion, or, you know, what was it, Ford Taurus, um, before. I, it's, I did the uh, Cartoon Network version, my last one I built last year. Uh, it's really the same car, but it's different. Library, so very cool. I figured pick it up because you know it's a very nice kit. I mean, I detailed the living heck out of that Cartoon Network one, so very cool. And the last kit, my favorite driver when I was kind of getting old enough to really know what NASCAR was. This was my all time favorite driver. I'm not really sure why, um, but Jeff Gordon was my favorite driver. I started getting into NASCAR, well, started watching NASCAR when I turned six, I believe. Five or almost end of five, you know, beginning of six. My dad was watching NASCAR. I was like, oh my gosh, this is so cool. And I always loved Jeff Gordon. Every time I see his name, say his name on TV, I would always freak out. I see his car. I mean, I'm just, I was a huge Jeff Gordon fan. I even had, I even had a Jeff Gordon, like, Wallpaper like on top, you know, I'm not, you know, not go full on wallpaper, you know, wall strip you want to call it, um, goes on top of your, you know, ceiling kind of, but on the wall towards the ceiling. I had Jeff Gordon on there, I had a Jeff Gordon blanket. I mean, I was a huge Jeff Gordon guy, so uh, I saw this, I was like, yeah, I'm getting this because I'm, I was a huge Jeff Gordon fan and I was, I, I was quite upset when Jeff Gordon retired in NASCAR, but you know, but he was my favorite NASCAR driver. I don't know really, I'm not really sure why, but. Man, he definitely was 
and I, I saw his NASCAR at the swap meet. I grabbed it. 15 bucks. I'm not complaining. Mike's decals, they do have a newer version of this, this, the same exact decal sheet. So I'll probably pick that one up because I'm sure these decals are, you know, not really the best. So, but I am definitely doing Jeff Gordon. That's no, <laughs> that's no brainer. I believe this is a 1997 and a 1998. So, um, you know, early, late, late 1990s NASCAR. But there we have it. That's it. Oh, actually, one more thing. What kind of kind of cool? My uh, my old my high school old science teacher uh, was there. He uh, he's a retirement obviously, but he does like he he he, he goes to swap meets and he sells stuff, which is very cool. So I see him quite often. I go to swap meets, but he gave me a kit for free. He gave me his uh, dots and race car. He said nobody would buy it because it was open and um, it's kind of partially started and it's actually missing parts. But he gave it to me. He thought I could use it for something. I was like, yeah, I could use it for something. Um, you know, it's partially started. You know, the four pans been painted. The engine's been started. Not too big a deal. But it's missing the full interior. But I do have a cool plan for it. I might just make it into like a junkyard beater car. You know, like an old race car. You know, you know they ship the interior. Uh, there's no firewall, but I might put a, you know, well, I don't know what I'll call it, like something in there to kind of hide it. But yeah, we'll probably, we'll probably do something with this. So we'll probably do, do like a junkyard car because obviously there's no interior, um, there's no door panels, there's no firewall, there's mis mis missing a lot of suspension parts. So we'll do something with it. We'll definitely make a junkyard car out of it and, you know, rust it, make it look like it's been abandoned or something. But it's pretty cool. My old, it's <laughs> very cool. It's your old high school science teacher. Um, yeah, very cool. So he gave me this kit for free. He said, no, we will take it because it's been started and it's bits and parts. He just want to get rid of it. So yeah, I can definitely do something with it. I can definitely do like a, you know, old junkyard car. So very cool. But that's it. My first stash ads for 2024. It was an awesome spot meet. And um, my next one probably won't be until, well, my next one is next month, but it's not and now east and then we'll be going to end east and um get to models so uh, but very every night guys that's it i'm so glad i got jeff gordon that just my favorite driver i don't know why but i don't know guys that's it for this video and tomorrow's video i'll catch you next time take it easy